Hi, Red Active here. Woo 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 woo. And welcome to All About 8 episode 15. We have a mixed episode today with a little bit of this and a little bit of that and a little bit of mine colonies. Uh, so let's get started by pressing F5 like that. Um, I have a few projects going on. The first we can do is the animal farm. Uh, I've decided to build an animal farm. Uh, the mine colonies needs wool and I need some other drops from, from animals. And that is what I've been building over here. I've made a warp plate so we can go over to the animal farm. This is my animal farm. Uh, I'm trying to say animal farm as many times as possible be before you quit viewing. Uh, I have sheep, pigs and cows and chickens, all of the basic animals. I have a feeding trogue from farming from blockheads. Uh, it uh, feeds the animals so they uh, they get children. Uh, you can get up to eight animals and then it stops. So I think I have eight of everything right now. I've been here in killing them a couple of times. Uh, this is the first step in, in my animal farm. I also have a few botany pots here for uh, wheat and carrots, but it's completely full and they are filling up. The second step is to place an... I'm not sure if it's in the mod in 1.19, but we have to take a look. Industrial foregoing uh, has a machine that can separate animal baby separator. So I'm going to place these at the back of the uh, pens so the children will get pulled through and only the adult will stay in here. Then I have to kill a couple so I will have six, 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 uh, six breeding animals and all the kids will get re be removed. Uh, after they have been removed, they will end up in here and they will be dropped uh, to the underground. Uh, and there I can, either I can make them grow up, I can get pink slime from them, I can get meat slush or whatever, or we are going to start evil craft and I'm going to take their blood because I'm evil. And I'm extra evil, so I'm going to use the babies to get the blood. Yeah, it's a little bit slower than using a spawner, I think, but it's uh, more fun. Uh, at the back of the Animal Far, I have built uh, some tanks from Mechanism. So this tank uh, contains lava. I got 119 buckets right now. Uh, I can put in 31,000 buckets of lava in here. You can't even see the level of lava. It's so tiny. Uh, I've got a second tank with uh, liquid XP. Uh, fluid XP. Uh, but um, I, it, it can't even fill the ender tank. I also have a a full ender tank with 256 buckets of lava. And I have a couple of uh, spear if I want to add uh, more liquids. Uh, so we're going to expand in this area and get evil at a later stage. That's uh, so far I've come. The, uh, the XP we get from our mob farms 
uh, the lava we get from uh, simple Minecraft uh, mechanics. I will show you later. Uh, this is our mystical agriculture field. Uh, this is the part that gets out of harvest, and this is the part that don't get out of harvest uh, because I'm getting more seeds from them. Uh, I filled up with inferium seeds because I need uh, more inferium. The button pots in there aren't fast enough, they don't pr pr uh, produce that much. Uh, I have made the premium seeds, so we got diamond and dirium and duralite and emerald. Uh, I've got four of each, uh, uh, the only exception is the platinum because that's taking forever to get extra seeds. I only got two at the moment, but when I get more I will move them here. Uh, I got a few that I got uh, have eight of at the moment iron gold and redstone and i think no that's the only one it's an inferium all the way to the end so that's what i'm working on here uh, if we go into the place we have a lot of the seeds we don't have uh, that much of these, but we have a lot of uh, the other ones, so I'm not sure why. Uh, I have made some, I've used the fire and the dirt to get a lot of sand, to get the smooth sandstone and so on. Uh, I used the wood to get more wood. Uh, yeah, but it's working. At the moment, we got one Supremium Essence and three Perium and non Insanium. The lava. Where did we get the lava? Uh, yeah, I have a ender tank here, so we get can fill this up with uh, liquid XP too, so we can get levels when we are enchanting so i have two types of ender tanks one end tank is for the producing uh, it's underneath the mechanism tank and one tank is for getting the stuff out of the mechanism tank if i need it so we've got one lava and one fluid xp and down here at my uh, spawners. I've changed the tanks for the ender tanks that uh, deliver the fluid XP to the mechanism. And the lava is producing in here. Uh, and I had to go a little bit creative or at least using crate. I had an idea that I wanted to see if I could produce lava using the dripstones. And so I made a lot of cauldrons and I produced a lot of lava. But I couldn't get the lava out of the cauldron. And I tried a lot. I tried every pipe I could think of and, and other stuff. And then I read about maybe crate could work and I try to create basin and it, nothing worked until I tried the fluid pipes. The fluid pipes from create is the only thing that I know of that can pull the lava out of the cauldron because of how the cauldron is coded. So to do that we need the pipes, we need uh, a pump and then we need a fluid tank and then I get the lava out of the fluid tank and into my ender tank and into the mechanical mechanism tank. The pumps are driven by some water wheels in here, uh, a lost, large cog and a small cog. Uh, the pump 
has a distance of 15 I think so without this pump uh, I couldn't empty the four last four of them looks like I can't empty them right now either but if we take a look here under we see the lava particles that means that the pi pipes are emptying the cauldron uh, it's not very fast um, you see it's bubbling um, but it's working I'm thinking on adding a, f a few more cauldrons to this side maybe not all the way to the end because then I can't move in here stay out of that it's hot 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 uh, the next thing is that I want to create some lily pads. Some lily pads of fertility. I have changed one of the uh, efficiency updates on the harvesters to a speed update, so I get uh, so the harvest harvesting. Of the mystical agriculture seeds gets a little bit faster. I want to speed up the growth either further further with lily pads. And to do that, we need a lily pad and we need fertile fertile essence. Uh, and that's green dye, no problem. The rib bones we get from the skeleton, and the slime pearls we get from slimes, and with this uh, creeper drop. I think I have a lot of rib I have 48 uh, so that's enough I think but I don't have that many slime pearls and I only want have one catalyzing gland so I need more creeper drops and I need a little bit more slime drops uh, I'm lucky the this part of the base is a slime chunk I've been getting some slime slimes from time to time uh, you can check if there is a slime sh chunk using the F3 uh, at the bottom of the green to the right you see it says slime chunk falls if I move forward it turns slime chunk true so this is a slime chunk so I added a room at the back of everything. Uh, I can place a slime spawner here and I can spawn some slime. And I, then I kill them by myself. Uh, the slime spawner uh, needs to be below level 40 and in a slime chunk to be working. So I can't place them in the, uh, the spawner chambers down there because that's not a slime chunk and we need creeper so I have a mob swap so we are going to try and collect some creeper DNA and it's night how lovely so let's go dive into the ocean getting very wet Finding stupid skeleton and kill it with a hit. Now we're going to look for a nice creeper and not a skeleton. Creeper, creepy, 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 creepy. Creeper, creepy, 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 creepy. And we have a funny creeper over there. But I don't think that will drop the the catalyzed gland. So we may need to look for another, but we're going to take that DNA either way, like that. Boom. So now I have the DNA from the beach creeper. We're going to take a look what we can get from that drop. We need to fill in that creeper hole later on or I will get 
crazy. So we need another mob swab. I have a few. Like that and we have a creeper. I can see it. The creeper is over here. Yay. Oh, something hit me. Now we got the creeper DNA. Uh, now we're going to make a creeper spawner. And the way to do that is by making an egg. I've done this before I'm when I made a blaze spawner and so on. Uh, I can't remember if I showed you how to do it. So let's do the creeper spawner together. Uh, everything of this go into the inventory. The beach creeper. Uh, I'm not sure if there is a way to check for the drops. Uh, of a mob. No, it's not checking the... And this one is not showing the beach creeper. Maybe if we check out gunpowder. Take a look. Where can you get gunpowder from? Uh, is this... Here we have the mob drops. Yeah, here we have the beach creeper. Uh, so we can actually get nautilus shells from them. And even prismarine charge. That's kind of nice, because then I may be able to do the prismarine seed, if I can make the charge into crystals. Uh -huh. What's that? I can turn lapis into with soul fire, and we have started create. Uh, why not continue with it? That's one way to get the the crystal. Uh, we can use it in a mechanical squeezer. Yeah, I think that the mechanical squeezer or soul fire create, and we will will be able to get the prismarine seed. Uh, but we're going to use the ordinary. The ordinary creeper. Uh, the cave... One is interesting too, if you can get hold of that one, you can get diamonds and and uh, emeralds. Uh, we have the ordinary creeper and we can get the catalyzing gland for them. Oh, dark oak creeper. Desert creeper. There's a lot of creeper. Ah, that was a funny one. You can use the fire beetle too. Okay. Nice, nice. So we store the mob swab in there. So now we have the creeper one, and we're going to do make a creeper spawn egg. And to do that, we need to use the mob swab with some seeds of any kind and a bucket of essence. So we need a bucket. And we can go over to our seed chest and get the seed. And then we can use the bucket on our nice uh, ender tank and get a bucket of fluid XP. 
So combining all of this, we get some chicken feed with creeper DNA in it, and we are now going to feed this to a chicken. And the chicken will then, well, produce a creeper spawn egg. So we go over to our animal farm and over to the chickens. Um, make sure because the, the chicken will get what what can I say used when doing this so don't make it on your last chicken but you click right click on the chicken with the feed Happy yay and we got a creeper spawn egg hooray hooray And we killed a chicken, and right away two of them had hunky panky, and now we have a new, new chicken. So let's get back to the ship. Down we go, bow, bow, bow. Uh, I have a lot of skelly spawners. I have a couple of skeleton spawners here, so I think we will turn our uh, skeleton spawner down here into the creeper spawner. We also do have a lot of uh, the skeleton ribs. We have one, another one here. What we first have to do. Uh, we have to turn off the trash can in here because if we don't do that the trash can will, will void anything and we don't get the new drops so we have to use the pipe wrench and then turn off so we don't use the, the trash can and I think the skeleton spawner is the right one. So I turn off the the fans. Uh, I don't want to have a wither skeleton. The skeleton spawner is the one in the middle. Stupid skeleton, can you just that's the way go into yeah take a step no to kill it that way so the skeleton spawner is is the one in the middle so we take the creeper egg and right click it on the spawner and now i have a creeper spawner in there instead so let's yeah, we got a creeper. Nice. Uh, if I turn off the light, they will spawn better. And uh, there is able to upgrade the spawners by adding uh, stuff to them. Uh, these are all light dependent. So if I place a redstone lamp at the back here too, I will uh, prevent spawning probably. Or completely in this one. Uh, the bases can spawn in any light condition, so they they don't care about the the redstone lamp. Uh, the redstone lamp is for preventing other spawns from happening. I've got a couple of stones left. Where did I get them? Whoa! Yeah, turn off the fans for doing anything. And then that happened. Well, well, well. And now we have everything loose. Yay! It's a fun time. It's a lovely time.
It's a lot of weird skeletons coming from all of the way. Hey, hey. And now I know where I get to <laughs> stop from. We're going to kill you. Then we're going to deactivate all of the spawners by doing so. Okay. That was not good. <laughs> A big kaboom! <laughs> uh, did the redstone lamp survive? I'm not sure. Yeah, it did. Uh, then we can place the lamp over here. Did the lever su survive? Wait, I got my first kill! Yay! Everything happening at the same time today. I'm so happy that you are with me. Oh, I'm a ghost. That's why. Uh, when you die, you get a key. You turn into a ghost. Uh, that means that you can float. Uh, and you don't... Um, you don't die. Uh, this is my grave. If I right click it with my key, I get everything back. And now I am alive again. Okay, there is the fans and I don't want to die again. Did the lever survive? Do, 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 do. Do, do the tank did survive in a way that's nice. Uh, I'm going to go and get the lever so we can get the redstone lamp working to prevent uh, spawns from happening in, in there. And we can put that into the inventory. And put a cube. Uh, this one, this one. Ah, we got a catalyzed gland. Gland. That's what what we wanted. So I'm going back down here. At least the killing machine survived the explosion. That's nice. They are a very Expensive to make with all of the upgrades. I think that's enough. Yeah, then we have to repair stuff. Uh, I will do that and get back to you. I think we lost a few stuff.
Okay, I think I have managed to uh, repair everything the Creeper Explosion created. Uh, what we're going to do now is remove all of the those, turn on the fans, and do that, and then we can turn off the light. Um, the two soapstones that I had in my inventory and wondered where did I get them from uh, it was from here uh, so now we have to wait and see if we can get some more kills I hope we can get some we aren't getting any items. The hopper may be uh, not configured correctly. So I will see if I can make it work. I need to get to it somehow without the creeper seeing me. And exploding everything again. I think I can remove this one. Uh, this one is working. Got fluid to the west and items to the east. I wonder why it isn't... Well, it's the pipe. It's the pipe, I tell you. Uh, we need to put it into subtract mode like that. And we have to do the same with, with the, the fluid pipe over here. Like that. Now it's working. Um, what we're going to look for is what drops we get. Uh, what drops to keep and what drop to uh, put into the trash can. Uh, the, uh, the sad thing is that you only can do a blacklist. So I can save nine items from them. And uh, this is what I have choose, chosen uh, so far. Um, what are we getting more? We're getting gunpowder. We need to save the gunpowder, not the wrench, the gunpowder. And we need to sh save the catalyst gland. Um, I think that's everything that's interesting at the moment. So let's use the wrench and activate the trash can and we won't get things like stone swords anymore. Uh, 
and let puts the thing into the we already got seven catalyst glands so I think we will get our lily pads very fast can't really do that then. in a good way no we don't need that when we need this one uh, remember to deactivate the trash can before you remove the hoppers otherwise the hoppers uh, get voided and that's no good let's turn on the redstone lamp we're going to add a couple of lamps in the back too oh so that's miss happened is corrected uh, yay that's a silver ore. Silver is the one we got most of. We got over 5,000 ingots of silver at the moment. Uh, I think the ore shrines are still producing ores. I had a strange bug uh, the other day uh, where the The ore purifier didn't accept the ore blocks anymore. Uh, but after restarting the game, that was fixed. Okay, everything is uh, done. So, we got lava. We got XP. We got the creeper spawner. We got everything. Uh, let's head over to the uh, mine colony and see what how they are doing today. No, not yet. We're going to do the fishing first uh, I'm thinking of emptying my chest for now uh, this is what I got in it uh, we have a lot of fish this is just food and so on we got some other minecraft things I think that's all of the not so special stuff. And we can put that into the inventory. I'm eating fish right now because I'm fishing. Uh, let's see what more we got. We got some some boxes and some loot boxes and a uh, Neptune bounty. These contain stuff. We will see what they contain. We got some drift wood. We can use the drift wood to get planks. Uh, we got some tin cans. If we smelt the tin cans, we can get iron, not tin, because Minecraft. Um, we got message in a bottle. If you right click the land, you get a very nice message looks more like an error error message i think uh, what the hell is fishology some sort of reaction to fish maybe um we got some books we got knockback death strider i may put that on my boots shulk smite that would come in handy if we're going to the end uh, smite I already got on the, on my sword uh, the machete piercing is a nice one we got some bows nothing incredible we got some that's a pretty good uh, fishing rod but we have uh, we got to in uh, mend it first we got a couple of standard leather boots we will throw them away we got some nautilus shells and uh, we got some tablets uh, i'm not sure what they do but i think if you have the tablets in your inventory i'm not sure if it's enough to have it in your inventory or if it have has to be in your in your hand 
um, after some time it will turn into something. I didn't look, I didn't read all the description uh, online. So we may do that at some time and we got some ancient tablets of cupidity. Okay. Right click on a grave zone. So we have to make a grave and, and stuff and I haven't done that before. So let's put it in there. And we have the ancient fishing rod of misadventure with fishing bad luck 10. Uh, I think we will put that one in to our helper here and see what it will get. Maybe everything will explode. I'm not sure. What did we get? An ordinary jellyfish. Uh, so, your fish. Let's see what's happened. Happening. Uh, we get uh, get XP from here too, but that XP is a different kind than the one I put into my collection. So we're going to return with everything down below before we go over to the mine colony. Okay. It was enough to have it in our uh, inventory. This one shows the way to a snowy village. Okay. And this one now shows us to a small village. Lanes. And that's a village jungle and that's a village slush land okay and this one that's nothing i have some enchanted books up here the enchanted bows are going to go into the chest with stuff like that we put these into the inventory. We're up. And we're going to take a look at the boxes. So open up all the boxes. What did we get? We got some leather. I don't want that. We got some, ah, some random material. Piece of gravel. That's a great find. And we got the Neptune bounty. I've opened one of these. Uh, I've got the uh, Neptune X in that one. This one we got a piece of Neptunium ingot. And nothing more. And we got a fancy a fancy fancy chest. Did I use the chest for something? No. Don't think so. Nep. It's in here. So now we got a Neptunium ingot. What we can do with that? We can make nothing. We need more. We can make Neptunium shovel. If I get another one, we can do the Neptunium fishing rod. Yep, let's save that one. Okay. Uh, for the quests, I have done some basic storage. I've done the Ender tanks. So now I've got everything Ender related. Uh, I've got 10 feathers at the same time. And I've started create. Uh, this is a start for create. You get the branch. I made the uh, engineering goggles. I have them on my head. It makes me see the stress uh, of the machines. Uh, we made 
the basin and the shaft. I haven't made eight large cogwheels at the same time. I did make some andesite alloy. Uh, I think that's everything. So we're done with that. I already got the end of bag, coded to that chest. Uh, we can use the other ender bucket and code it to the lava and go to the nether and just scoop off lava and put it into the um, the lava thing. Maybe I will do that. Um, now we can head over to the mine colonies. And it's a nice day without rain. Um... Uh, Everything is up, uh, upgraded to level 2. We have a new town hall, the tavern, and everything. Um, I've started creating a restaurant to give them food. And I've started creating a university down here to research stuff like the hospital. Uh, and they have stopped, and I think that's because they may be sick. Uh, that's what we need a hospital for. There is some problem here with uh, Suri and we He got the measles this time. That's the first. We need a dandelion, kelp, and poppy. poppy. So we are going to work on that. So dandelion... Poppy and kelp. And I guess the others are sick too. Here is, is uh, our new resident, so you Rayo. What she will it? be the cook when that's done. She needs food. Uh, okay, so uh, let's go and get her some food and Kenya is doing well we have food in here I guess we can give food to everyone I can help you with that what is it eight I don't know how many they will keep in the inventory they will get eight from me uh, she's very low, so I will give her more because she will eat a lot to get that to a high level. So I will give her 30 nice potatoes. I knew there was some, some problem over here because when I use the resource scroll, scroll, it's... Ah, now it's working. Uh, before it was empty. It may have been, so I had to go over to the colony too let's see what is it what's wrong with you are you having the measles too no you do you have food i'm not sure let's give you some and we have mr Saul Gupta. Work, work. Uh, nothing problem here. Let's have some food. Let's check out the guards. We have a guard over here. And this guard help. is having the measles too. And the third guard over here is I'm going to do my best to also sick. I think that's all of them. Um, I think it's a problem that we can't see who's sick. Um, maybe we can do that in the town hall. If we have a lot of uh, colonists, it will be a problem. But it doesn't say anything about being sick here, so that's a problem. Well, let's go and fetch some kelp and dandelion and stuff. 
Uh, the problem is there isn't much flowers around um, because I think it, there was a bug in the beginning, so they didn't create any flowers. Uh, but I think I have some kelp at least. Uh, so let's take uh, we can take a stack of kelp, and then we are going to get a stack of dandelions and a stack of poppy. And we are going to do that with the mystical agriculture seeds. And we got the nature one do, 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 down there. into the crafting grid and let's check we can do a lot of stuff we can do kelp hey can't we do the flowers come on can't i make the dandelions no can't make the dandelions that's no good. I thought we could make that with the nature essence. Ouch. Uh, that's a problem. And I don't want to get blow up anything else. So let's sleep. Hmm. Let's take a look at what the emerald muncher have. have. He got seeds. Do we got flowers? He got a lot of special flowers. Dandy, no dandelion. And no puppy. Wasteless. Useless. <laughs> uh, okay, let's try the. I have a couple of dandelions down here, so I can take those three at least and maybe cure the three I got, but we need more. Uh, maybe we can use bone meal. Try to get some flowers. See if the bug is still there. We have 12 dandelions down here. Do we have a poppy? We have five, so if we take three, then we have enough to cure the one that's ill at the moment bone meal me some things and let's try and get some flowers 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 there's a lot of green area over here we can use that Boom, 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 boom. Nope, we only got the silent gear stuff and no flowers. Okay, that's a problemo. How do we get the flowers? They must spawn somewhere because I got some already. Hmm. Uh, I would try something and get back to you. I know you've been screaming, Botany pot uh, but that's what i'm going to use i hope this will work uh, let's see the poppy we needed free for the sick people at the moment and the dandelion uh, I tested the bone min in a couple of other biomes and uh, it didn't work. So that's an 
not so nice bug, but we did get an a dandelion in there. Do we have a farmland? We have an inferium farmland. We can change that one to a little bit better farmland. Okay. So let's get over to the colony and heal the the guards. Uh, but first we're going to look at what Saul needs. Uh, I think Saul can work with iron tool now. I think I not sure if, if I have given that to him. And we are going to upgrade the tools the guards can use. But first this. Couple of stone, a couple of stacks. That's the way I work. And then we look at the next one. Oak bookshelf one. One bookshelf. So work, let's work. go into the inventory of this one. Got food, so we give them kelp, dandelion, and poppy. I'm going to do my best work for you. Now they are going to consume the healing ingredients. There's a, some sounds playing. And after a while, they will be all well. Uh, we got a gold, golden boots uh, here. That's that. uh, better. This one is very good. Uh, so the golden boots are better than the one with, uh, with, for instance, that that's iron boots, I think, and we have leather boots over here so these ones aren't are as good as those two uh, we had a couple of more sick sick guards no that's him uh, let's see we have a one over here what is it so that's nice. And we have the third one over here. Uh, we can I'm use shift, best work for you. shift right click, then we go straight into their inventory. Um, that's the new cook. Uh, we have. What is it? Oakland. So if you shift I right click Oakland, we can put everything that she needs into her inventory right away. She don't need the oak log. I'm going to use that for a different thing. So now you have everything you need. And uh, we're going to keep put the kelp into that one. Uh, the potato and carrot is for cre uh, curing another disease. And then I we have Mr. Saul. I think it's in here. Then we need these tools for him. Work, work. So let's go into your inventory and give you everything. Like that. Um, I was going to use the o'clock to create that recipe. Like that. Now they can can continue creating marvelous buildings. See if there is still a problem. No, she's heading down to get something. Uh, and Saul is just standing there. Work. Okay, he's thinking about stuff. Now 
Not sure if they put anything in their inventory, but we have we got another. Uh, I could help you with that. Care uh, gold for you. Okay, if you right click them with food, they won't go away. Wait, that fast. This is also a golden boot one. Uh, I could help you with that. And this one isn't. Didn't see that much difference between the. The stats. So Oakland is working. Uh, I will get back to you and we will end with uh, the, taking a look at our new restaurant and university. Uh, before we can use the university we need to build more housing and uh, get a new member uh, to the community. So we can get a researcher. I'm going to do my best uh, we're also going to you. upgrade uh, the armor and stuff for our knights. So I will get back to you. Oh, we are getting attacked by barbarians, and I'm not sure if I want to kill my guards. Uh, so I may be inclined to help them. I also want to see them fight. But if they die, I would be sorry. Well, but I can take care of the barbarians myself. I guess these are stronger than I'll be back. I'll be back. much stronger than the much stronger than the pirates that came with the ship before. At the ancient tomb, not sure what that is, and I got a nice sheath sword that's better than iron. Okay, so we did do that one. Uh, oh, and I stupid wandering trader. Um, uh, I could help you with that. We are going to get your leather armor and give you some chain mail because that's the level of the uh, the level of the hut. Work, work. And a nice iron sword. Don't know why they didn't they don't change. Hello, Pethy Pethy. Oh, now she changed to oh, her chain mail part. Uh, I could help you with that. And then we're going to put what is it? Last stuff. Uh, I could help you with that. Like that. I also got some more dandelions and. Puppies from our botany pots, so we are going to put them into here. That's nice. And back to waiting. Waiting for, waiting for, waiting for the game to go. Book it up and put them into two. Fingers too. Let's see. And, and then some torches inside, and we should be. Soon ready to see the fireworks. Yay, the fireworks, and we made a restaurant. Yay! Uh, now I think we can decide who will be the cook, and the only one we have is Zoe Q. Rayo. 
uh, so it needs adaptability that's affect the cooking speed and the knowledge affects um, makes so she maybe won't use uh, all the ingredients to make a uh, food you can also have assistant cooks but we're going for the cook higher so so we ureo is now our cook Hello, Zoe. And she's running off to the nice restaurant. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Uh, I guess we can choose what she will make. We can teach recipes. Uh, if I give her potato, she will cook them and make cooked potatoes. Uh, I need to give her uh, some fuel for her furnace. I'm going to go with coal, I think. And this is, is the food she can make. There's a lot of food. Rum. Rum, 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 rum. Good day to you. And she has no tasks. We can see Good what she wants. What is it? Tell me what kind of food I should use in my furnace. And I can't do anything at her place. I can maybe do anything here. Coal. Um, I can use the tiny charcoal to be a little bit more effective. I can use charcoal. I can use coal, tiny coal. I think what we're going it? to use tiny coal. Okay. I can help you with that. It would make my life if I had some fuel and she wants some tiny coal. So we're going back to the boat to fetch some coal. I have some coal assets here that I can use to make coal. Like that, and then I can make some some tiny coal. Uh, and we need some stuff to turn into food. And I have saved up on potatoes. So I got a lot of potatoes. We, let's fill the inventory. That's only four stacks. We're going to remove the, that one and that one. And I can get a couple of extra stacks of potatoes. That will be enough for now. I hear a uh, slime. Before we're going to end the episodes over at the mine colony, so let's take a look at the Miss Fortune fishing rod. We got an enchanted book. Other than that, that's it. Looks just like an ordinary. Uh, fishing rod, nothing special. You're not special, even then, even if you're the level ten enchant. Oh, 
Oh, King has changed into his correct gear. That was that was nice. Uh, let's see. Do you have a storage? Or is it your storage? We got an inventory in here. Okay, we already got the baked potatoes in there. We can put the fuel in there. And maybe the potatoes. Let's see if she will start to work. Bodhi has you. haven't done anything I yet. Can help you with that. What is it? Good day to you. Good. Pota two. We got baked potatoes on, so she may be doing that now. Oh, she's cooking cake baked potatoes. How lovely. Yay. We have a restaurant that creates food. Great. Uh, I think our builders are up here because they don't need, like their clothes getting dirty. Wonder if I can sleep. Nope, can't do that. So we have to wait a little bit longer for the university to be built. And I think we will do that at the start of the next episode and take a look at that because we can't utilize it without the extra housing. So I think that will be everything for today. Uh, kind of mixed long episode we died stupidly go and change Bodhi go and change uh, but we got a restaurant at a mine colony and we got some lava and we got a creeper spawner working because it spawns creeper that blows everything to pieces so uh, well, everything I have to say is bye, take care, and see you in the next episode of All the Mods 8. Time for a picture in the rain, in front of my restaurant, because it's so nice. <laughs>